It's spring in the city of Toronto and it's warmer weather. And the first on everyone's minds is how to garden and get their gardening done. But I see more injuries from gardening than any other activity. So today we're going to learn some posture tips on how to garden. So with gardening, there's a lot of back pain and upper back pain. And you were just telling me that it's about the tools, doing the right tool for the right job. This is the ram out the handle shovel. Mm -hmm. This is meant for moving earth. So you don't dig with this shovel? You do not dig with the shovel, no. You move earth with it. Like if you have a mound of earth, this is the kind of shovel that you want to do. And even though you're bent over, you, if you slightly bend your knees, that will take the pressure off your lower back. I'm just going to demonstrate that. Because you definitely want to use your legs as your strength and pulling like this. Another thing is you don't want to do any twisting. So a lot of people do this and twist their back. It's more important to take, stand up and rotate with your whole body. This is your regular corn broom for cleaning up the yard, break, you know, uh, mm -hmm. sweeping up after you break or whatever right. off the sidewalk. This can be uh, really hard on your lower body because you can find yourself into a twisting motion. And twisting is just bad natural, bad. natural. Um, right. But if you stand upright and, and move the broom and not your body, you'll find that it will be less okay. tiresome on your body. I think this one's a more effective one just because you're not going to twist as much and at all. And so you can just, you know, you can do this with your upper body or pulling. And it's all, it's much more upper body versus lower back. One of the biggest activities that you can injure yourself in the garden is lifting. So the proper technique is important. Lift with your legs, get real close to the parcel and pull right up. Keep it and twist together as a unit with your body. I don't want to see any of this twisting your body and turning because that puts a lot of strain on one part of your pelvis and that's where injuries occur. Important recommendations for when you start gardening. One, make sure you're hydrated. Two, when you start out in the day, do a 15-minute walk. Go around the block. Go visit some other person's garden in your area. This is very important to get the circulation going. Make sure you have some sunscreen on and a hat because you're going to be out all day. And finally, to begin, I want you to do some stretches and end with some stretches. Your upper back, you want to do something like we call a pose, child's pose, where you hang right like this and it opens up your entire back there. But as well, because your entire day you're bent a little bit in this position, I want you to stretch out your abs. So you can actually do something like this. Finally, shoulders, do some shoulder rolls. Slowly open the both of them up, get the shoulders moving. Move your neck from side to side. And lastly, because you're gonna be using your hands, I want you to do some extension, and flexion of the wrist. This is my type of gardening. Relaxing, drinking my water, and planting perennials that you only have to plant once and then they keep coming year after year. And keep in mind the tips we gave you today so you'll have a healthy back all season long. I'm Dr. Scott Levine and that's Toronto Living. <laughs>